Hi guys, it's Ryan here with Sigma Survival and today's short video is going to be about insect repellents, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm out in the woods, enjoying life, yeah, what can I say? But one thing that can ruin your day is insects, so what can we do about that? Now, I've travelled across the world and I used to use like chemical insect repellents like DEET. I don't anymore, it's really just not good for the body. So, what do I use now? Well, the main thing that I would use is eucalyptus oil or peppermint oil. Now, I tend not to use peppermint oil as much because um, it's bad for dogs. Like, dogs tend to be allergic to it, they have breathing difficulties. Um, so I tend to stick more to eucalyptus oil. Now, the good thing about these essential oils is that they also have medicinal benefits. So peppermint oil, for example, cools the body down. So in the summertime, like, like currently, you know, it's great, especially if, it's on, if I put it over my pulse points. So, so that's another benefit of using it, as well as the fact that it will keep insects away. The eucalyptus oil, on the other hand, this is highly, highly antibacterial as well as being an insect repellent so not only is it going to stop me from getting the infection in the first place let's say from being bitten by a mosquito or a horse fly or something like that but it's also clinical studies have shown that this potentially can it can be even like antibiotic resistant bacterial strains and even some fungal infections so this is super important and i want to put this to the test in a little bit i'm going to see how well this burns so I've mentioned before that I'm moving to Portugal soon. One of the biggest factors that we're tending to worry about a little bit is um, wildfires. Wildfires are, are a massive endemic issue there. And the eucalyptus trees are one of the major culprits for this because the resin and the oils within the plant itself, they're just super flammable, super volatile. So I think that this will take a spark or at the very least it will burn. So it might even be a fuel source as well. What I've also got here is, I couldn't not mention this, is some citronella. So it's not all citronella. So this has citronella oil, eucalyptus oil, cinnamon oil, pine oil, camphor powder bases, and um, that's it. This is basically a natural alternative that I picked up when I was in Sri Lanka at a herb garden. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's strong, but um, it does the trick. So I'm just going to put some of this on now because the flies are getting a... I haven't been sat here long and the flies are starting to get to me because I'm, I'm stationary. Um, another thing that you could obviously do would be to ensure that you're wearing long sleeves. That does help a lot, but sometimes it just gets uncomfortable in the summer to wear long sleeves all the time. So, yeah, as I say, stuff like this can really help. Now, I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but behind me here is a birch, um, a birch tree, a small young birch tree that's been, it's fallen or whatever. It is still rotting. It's starting to rot now, but what you can do with birch is you can burn it. And if you can collect the smoke from that fire, so let's say you burn it under an overhanging rock or you put like a piece of metal over the top of that to catch the resins out of the smoke, that smoke will hold a potent, it'll, it'll leave like a resin substitute at, thereafter. And if you take that and just rub it wherever, that will also have a really good sort of anti-insect anti repellent type effect. So just food for thought really, that's four natural options. And I suppose you could say five if you're wearing long sleeves as well, you know, without having to have an insect mosquito net or anything like that. Um, yeah, like I say, it's a short video. I hope it was useful. Some of the items within, like the, the essential oils, have got multiple medicinal uses and probably, you know, fire starting uses. So yeah, um, like I say, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. Uh, yeah, anyway, till next time.